The case is over with everyone right back where they started. The jury has spoken and they agree to disagree. Yes, that's right. After over a month, a mistrial has been declared. Yesterday evening, the jury claimed that they had a verdict, but minutes later, Judge Michael Dunstan told them that the format in which they presented it mean they hadn't returned a proper verdict. So with some additional instructions, it was back to debating. Then early Friday afternoon, their discussions ended. Family and friends sat nervously in the courtroom, and Judge Dunstan announced that the jury was unable to come to a unanimous agreement on any of the charges after deliberating for five and a half days. He said he had no alternative but to declare a mistrial. With the case over, the media's gag order against talking to attorneys was removed, and the defending attorneys were not shy about voicing their opinions. Would have liked for them to have reached a verdict. Uh, we hope that, in fact, we don't have to retry this case again. The true review is down to the facts. We'll wait to hear from the prosecutor's office and their determination with regard to whether or not they're going to proceed. Uh, we believe that perhaps if even a review is done of the cost or even an audit, possibly, of what the AG's office has spent in this prosecution, it might be best for the community as well as Mr. Cardi and the other defendants to simply move on. It's, it's, it's kind of a mixed emotion. Um, we certainly hope to get to a result that was uh, simply a not guilty. So it's a little difficult, but at the same time, we appreciate the time and effort of the jury without question. After three years of going through this investigation, this prosecution, it's time for it to end and the time is now. The prosecution said the government will continue to pursue the matter. The, the jury, they worked very hard, obviously, very long trial. They worked very, very hard and um, unfortunately, they weren't able to reach a verdict. But sometimes that happens. Uh, so now what we intend to do is we do intend to go and uh, retry the case. Mm -hmm. And we'll find out when that's going to be. Attorney Robert King declined to comment on camera, but said he was disappointed because the prosecution failed to prove anything his client had done was illegal. And that this is the most he's commented on any of his trials ever. Charlotte Hancock, News 2.